Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back here on NCAA 06 uh, Kentucky Dynasty mode. Here are the matchups the, uh, around the league for week number two. This is technically their week number one. So we, we played an early game. So just mind you, this is technically week number one for the uh, most of these teams. Um, if you guys submitted a player, uh, be patient. They'll be put in throughout the series. Uh, James Skaggs is put in, but a lot of you guys are going to get put in and stuff like that. Uh, this is a big game for Kentucky up against Clemson, coming off of a, a pretty easy win last week. I think this is going to be their true first uh, challenge of the year. And wh what do you guys think is going to happen here? Do you think uh, the Wildcats actually have a chance against Clemson? Um, take a look at the roster, man. They are way better than us. Uh, Anthony Shaw, again, I'd watch out for him. CJ Spiller coming in at 85 overall. Uh, Chuck Miller, watch out for that guy. And Thomas, who is their star guy, Trey Thomas. Uh, tight end right there. And their O-line is not bad at all. It uh, might be one of their weaknesses. But watch out for that guy, Brian Do Dodell. He is a beast, probably leading early. I don't know if he's a senior or not, but he is definitely going to be going to the pros. You see the analysts, they pick Clemson to win this one. Oh, let's see what happens here. Right off, handoff to CJ Spiller. Spiller going to spill all the way up to the first down and more. And Shaw's going to step back in shotgun formation. Shaw has a cannon of an arm, but he's also accurate. as He's going to find Thomas right there, one of his favorite targets. Um, and they're going to pick up that first down later in the game, second and four. Shaw shotgun formation once again. Shaw, what's he going to do? He's going to snake it all the way down. Touchdown. I don't even know if that was a word, but touchdown Clemson. Oh, man. 45-yard touchdown pass just like that. I mean, it doesn't get easier than that. Bread and butter. Let's take another look at this. Shaw has all day long. No pressure whatsoever, really. Safety help isn't really that much help. So here we go, Bo Bowman coming off of his debut. He threw two interceptions, no touchdowns, but he did all right. And oh, there he is, James Skaggs, first appearance, and it's going to be a dropped pass right there. Not good for the uh, the subscriber there. We'll see if he can get it together. Bowman later, what's he gonna do? Step in the pocket, stays, and he's gonna find, honestly, one of the most reliable connections he's had, which is Hood. Uh, on third down, if you want to pick it up, go to Hood. Uh, later, though, Bobby down to triple man coverage. Somehow the tight end, Austin's going to come away with it. That's one thing Kentucky really has. They have good tight ends. They just got to let them play. But they also have a good running back. It's McKenzie coming up clutch with that spin move. Uh, you know, gets out to the open field. It's one-on-one, -on -one, and he breaks him down. Later, though, C.J. Spiller hand off to him. He's definitely going to probably be making it to the uh, the NFL with his skill level. 7-7. Seven to seven. It's a play action. Bowman, one-on-one. -on -one. James Skaggs, can he come down with this? Yes, he can. A huge catch and bomb. He's seen. Bowman's seen the mismatch. Huge tight end. 6-6 six, six tight end up against a smaller either safety or um, corner. And I think it was I think it was a safety because obviously not that good at man-to-man. -man. There's a reason why he's out there in safety. But yeah, a huge play there. Now that's an even bigger play for Clemson. Sack right there on Bowman. Bowman once again, and there's that man I said to watch out for. Uh, Dowell. This dude, oh my god, he is a specimen out there. Kentucky would have to settle for a field goal. It's up and good. They'll take the lead right back. 10-7. We have us a good game, ladies and gentlemen. Shotgun formation for Clemson. Shaw, he's going to scramble to his right. Passes it out to Thompson. Thompson makes one man miss. He's going to make another man miss. Two man miss. And he's going to the house. The 30, the 20, the 10. That broke down. Wait. Well, you're not allowed to do that. This is college. You're, you're not allowed to do that, right? This man just celebrated on his way in the end. And then he kept celebrating. Anyways, look at you. Kentucky, you just can't do it, man. You've got to tackle. Why did he not get wrapped up? I, 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 it's beyond me. Bowman, though, later pump fake chart. Oh, and there comes Dowell across the other side. Oh, my God, Dowell. Look at this. Look, he comes all the way across from the other side and just cracks. 
Uh, Bowman. Later, Bowman. Stepping back. Feeling the pressure. He sees McKenzie one-on-one. That's against the lineman. An outside linebacker. I think it might have not have been number 20. You know, these college numbers got me kind of confused. Third and 17, though, later after that huge connection to the running back. Going to go deep. James Skaggs. End zone this time. It's in and out of his hands. Bowman going over there to talk to him. He's, he's struggling today, man. Oh, no. Um, let's take another look at this. I mean, this, you got to come down with this, man. You know, you just, this is a big game. People are watching. And in and out of your hands. You had him beat, but missed it. Kentucky will suffer another field goal, and he will stay perfect on the day. So far, Jenkins knocking that one down, making it 14 to 13. But it's Clemson, it's college. You never know until it's, uh, you know, until you get there. Shaw, he's gonna scramble out, goes deep down the field. It's caught, and once again, Kentucky cannot tackle Thomas. And 16 seconds, they didn't even need it. All they needed was eight. They needed eight seconds, and guess what? They bomb it down the field and score a touchdown. Just no one can tackle. Wow. Going into halftime, 21 to 13. Tigers. They look too good on offense. Kentucky's keeping up with them, but Kentucky's defense is nowhere to be found at all. Like Clemson's just bulldozing across like bread and butter. Bowman stepping back and got to get rid of it. He seen a guy open. I was trying to get to him, but it didn't work. Bowman got hit as he threw, and he got crushed, and it's going to be interception Gibson. And he's going to take it out to the 30, and uh-oh. This could be where it gets ugly. Uh, Bowman has been under pressure all day long. Later, it's going to be handoff. CJ Spiller breaks one tackle, and he's going to fight and be just a yard short. That's going to set up a fourth down, and they're going to go for it. I like this call by Clemson. We got all the momentum. Let's keep it that way. Spiller up the gut. He's gonna fight and he's gonna push. He's gonna push forward and pick up the first down. Later, high snap. Shock gets it though. Quick. Uh, Dixon catches it and he's gonna fight. Did he cross the plane? They're gonna say no, just short. But Kentucky's tackling has been very bad today. Later in the game, handoff. C.J. Spiller and he's up the gut and it's gonna be a touchdown. And uh, yeah. Clemson, great call, being aggressive there on that fourth down. I like it. Bowman, you can see Bowman's stats. He's struggling uh, against this really good defense. And Bowman would step back in. He would get destroyed. Same thing, same player even, intercepting him. Literally almost looked exactly identical with the last play. He stays in the pocket. He throws it as he's getting crushed. And it's Gibson now with two interceptions. There's the hit once again. Just, wow. Later in the game, 28 to 13. I mean, our defense had, had did kind of step up in the second half. We've only given up one touchdown, um, and they've had very good field positions. So, a part of me is a proud of the adjustments that our defense made, but our offense has been shut down even worse as we haven't scored since the first half. So, kind of embarrassing on the offense. Uh, side of the ball. Second and 10 though, it's never over. Bowman going deep and that one's thrown behind Hood and somehow he turns around and, and, and makes the catch. Like, dude, this guy's amazing. He's not even our star guy and he, he, he plays like he is though. First and 10, can Kentucky come back, man? It's not over until it's over. Bowman, he's going to scramble out. Can he beat this? Man, he gets the first down. It's uh, Bodell who chases him down. Bowman now stays in the pocket. It's tipped, intercepted. It's Do Dodell. This guy, we've been saying his name all day long, and the tip pass. That's intercepted. Let's take another look at this man. Three interceptions. Now his fifth on the year. Tip. Look at that. Tip drill. Oh my man, this one's over. And that is five interceptions. And no touchdown passes for uh, Bowman. And Clemson would come away with the win. 28-13. to uh, a Very... Uh, I think it was a competitive game, man. This was this could have went either way. Uh, obviously, the better team deserved a win. The team that won today deserved a win. Because we turned the ball over three times. Donald Bowman... Uh, Bowman uh, 
rough day. Anthony Shaw is looking phenomenal, the senior. He's looking like he could be a good player to pick up uh, for a pro team. Um, James Skaggs has some drops, but he did all right. Hood, though, was our main man we went to. Three wrecks for him. He saved us on some third downs. And uh, let's be honest, though. Bowman was pressured like crazy. We also didn't get any stacks on defense or interceptions. I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that. Jenkins was perfect on the day. Um, look how many. I mean, they just were a. Look at the sacks. Two, that's three, four, five. They sacked us five times. No telling how many times they pressured us. Uh, it was a rough day for those Kentucky Wildcats. So hopefully we can learn from this. CJ Spiller went off, by the way, as well, averaging five yards to carry, and he got in there. But Troy Thomas, this freaking dude, turned the game around for them. Honestly, he won the game for them. I mean, he, he was insane. He was insane. Um, taking a look at our players that we're trying to scout, we're, we're losing some interest on in a lot of players after that loss. Hopefully we can... Snag a couple of these guys, man. They're four-star caliber. I would love to have these guys on our team. But uh, we got a lot of work to do if we're going to try and convince some of these guys that they should come play for Kentucky. Uh, yeah. Also, can I take people off the board? I don't know how. I know you can do that. And how do I do that? Can I do that? Because this guy is not even interested at going to this school at all. But I can't take him off my board to replace him. I don't know how to do that. Uh, here are the the, the uh, top 25, though, after after their first week, after two weeks of football. This is their first week, obviously, after their first week of, of play. But um, this is kind of how it goes. Georgia moves up four spots. Miami moves down. I believe I'm reading that right. Uh, some teams move down. Georgia Tech moves up after that win there. Ohio loses to Miami. They're going to fall down to 23. They were 12th. Now, let's talk about Donald Bowman. He's a sophomore, red shirt. Uh, worried about him, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I am worried. When do we pull the plug and try and give someone else a try? Is it his fault? Is it the other line? I don't know, man. There's some thing going on that we got to figure out. That, that was, I mean, five interceptions, no touchdown passes. It's pretty rough. Um, his composure is starting to go down, so we need to figure out what we're going to do with the with the kid. Maybe we sit him out next week, um, so he can get his composure back up and calm down. I don't know. We're gonna figure something out though. That's gonna be it though. Like I said, if you did submit a, a name, I am gonna put you in. Just stay patient. You might not be on Kentucky though. You might just be put somewhere else. But either way. Your player will be added in. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you guys on the next one.